Now, Deputy Minister of Education and Member of Parliament for Asin South, Reverend John Intim Fodjo, says the government's investment of 129 billion cities into the sector has counted an earlier projection by the World Bank, which indicated that only one out of 10 children under the age of 10 in sub-Saharan Africa is able to read. The Deputy Education Minister also urged the youth to strive for higher education. Our Central Regional Correspondent, Carver Stete, has more. The Deputy Education Minister, Reverend John Intim Fodjo, speaking at the 28th Congregation of the University of Education, Winneba, appealed to graduates to dispel the misconception that the only way to succeed is to move overseas, indicating that education is the bedrock of a developing nation. He explained that government's investment of some 129 billion cities into the education sector is evidence of government's desire to change the narrative in the sector. The Deputy Education Minister says the investment has resulted in significant educational outcomes in the sector, including reforming the curriculum from objective-based to standard-based and moving away from rot memorization to critical thinking. The Deputy Education Minister was quick to add that an earlier projection by the World Bank, which indicated that only one out of ten children under the age of ten in sub-Saharan Africa was able to read has been counted by government investment in the sector. He pointed out that nearly 6 out of 10 children at the age of 10 are now able to read in the Ghanaian education system as a result of this investment. May I appeal sincerely to you to disabuse your minds from the notion misconceived that the only way to succeed is to leave the shores of this country. I am yet to announce happily that those countries are having higher levels and higher numbers of researchers per million population. Netherlands has 6,074 researchers per million population, as against Ghana that has 87 researchers per million population. So let us continue to disabuse the minds of those who may be misleading the public that education has no place in the development of a country. Education is a bedrock of the socio-economic development of every country. Any country that has been able to make very serious strides in education and research are those who have been on the path of prosperity and who have been on the path of rapid socio-economic development. And if even further, if any opportunity may present itself for further studies and further research and some postdoctoral opportunities abroad, I would want to urge you to come back and continue to serve this country following the shining example of our astute researchers and professors at the University of Education, Winneba, and other institutions of repute in this country who continue to support government, continue to support our country in groundbreaking researchers and contributing significantly to our nation building. Vice Chancellor of the University of Education, Winneba, Professor Stephen Jobson Mitchell, addressing the congregation pointed out that the university is gradually moving away from the traditional face-to-face -face approach to a dynamic online approach, adding that this is aimed at making education convenient for all. As Ghana is transitioning from the traditional ways of doing things to digitalization, so is UW preparing how to transition from the traditional face-to-face -face tutorial approach to a dynamic interactive online delivery approach. By using the University of Education University Learning Management Systems, it is on the e-learning platform where online tutorials will take place. Additionally, the university is building a e-library, and a link will be provided on the university's website. Distance education students will be able to log in to assess their course materials as well as other books, periodicals articles, databases, and other catalogs across the globe. This will go a long way to curtail the no cost model syndrome. Deputy Minister of Education, John Intim Fodjo, has indicated government's commitment to support the education sector. Carl Stetter, Channel One News, UEW.